At London's St. John's Gate, traditional meeting place of the Order of St. John, the Field Marshal Earl Wavell attends a reception of Knights of the Order. Founded during the First Crusade, the Order's work is now embodied in the St. John's Ambulance Brigade. The Duke of Gloucester, Grand Prior of St. John, deputises for the King, who is the League's supreme head. In Chapter Hall, the Duke bestows the accolade of knighthood on new members of this ancient order. To Lord Wakehurst, the Lord Prior of the League, the Duke, on behalf of the King, awards the Bailiff's Grand Cross. Over to India for a derby preview four months early. The scene is Bombay's luxurious turf club, the Ascot of the East. The summer fashions add a brilliant touch of colour to this highlight of India's racing season, the Bombay Derby. A great social occasion, everybody is there, honest Bill Bakshi included. There's a record entry for the race of the day, the one and a half mile flat. English jockey Bill Rickaby rides Prince of Ramgar number 16, second favourite. And to an Epsom-like roar, the field races off. Nearing the post, it's Balaam out in front, closely followed by Prince of Ramgar. And that's how they finish. Balaam, winner of the Indian Derby. In France, the result of the constant political derby remains as much a mystery as ever. General de Gaulle, here at the War Memorial in Lille, is still very much in the running, although at the moment he ranks as an outsider. With the present French government seemingly firmly established, the odds against de Gaulle gaining power are lengthening, despite his undoubted great personal appeal. Continuing his tour of northern France, the general stops over in Valenciennes, where after laying a wreath at the war memorial, a hero's reception greets him. Speaking with his accustomed gusto, de Gaulle attacks the present French government and warns Frenchmen that unless elections are held soon, the reigning legislators will have to be driven out by force. 